Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to the Scuba Diver Magazine channel and welcome to our Scuba Diving Q&A Ask Mark, uh, where I, Mark, a former dive instructor, answer your scuba diving questions. Uh, and if you do have any scuba diving questions, then feel free to pop them in the comments underneath this video. Uh, I don't charge for my advice. I only ask that you subscribe to the channel to help it grow and use this hashtag in your question just to help me find it. Uh, today, I'm actually answering two questions uh, because they're fairly similar subjects and and they do kind of complement one another, but we're looking at hoses and swivel pins. So Patrick Messina 08 says, what brand of six inch high pressure hose and air spool would you recommend to use for connecting the transmitter to the first stage? And Rudiger B says, hello Mark, a question about swivels that you have to install in the high pressure hoses to the pressure gauge. I have now bought new Miflex hoses for my second stage and the octopus as a replacement for the old rubber hoses. And there was no swivel in the old connector connections. Sure, they were sealed beforehand. So do you actually only need them in high pressure hoses? Thank you for a short answer and thank you for your great explanatory videos on your channel. You are welcome. Um, so yes, if you're if you're new to replacing hoses, um, you may have come across um, swivel pins and uh, and different hoses out there. Um, I'm just going to answer the, uh, the question on hose brands. Um, as far as branding goes, I think the, I mean, the main brands that people are going to hear about are, are Miflex hoses. Uh, a lot of people call them Myflex, uh, but when I spoke to them directly, I think they called themselves Miflex. Um, so it was like, okay, I'll run with Miflex from now on. Um, you'll, they're very recognizable. They're typically all braided hoses, except for their um, XT Tech, which do have a polyurethane coating on them. Um, but the the standard range are, are yeah braided hoses. You can get them in a bunch of different colors. They're a lot lighter. They're a bit more flexible uh, than a, a traditional rubber hose. But yeah, as far as branding goes, yeah, you'll see Miflex um, out there. But not all braided hoses, if they just have this braiding, are actually Miflex hoses. Uh, you can get some just braided hoses that for example that isn't a, a me flex hose um but it's um it's just a brand that makes braided hoses as well um but as far as like rubber hoses i can't say i've ever really thought about the uh, the brand too much they all tend to be much of the much the only thing that you might find is that some High pressure hoses are quite skinny uh, compared to a, um, a high pressure, I think that was originally a high pressure hose, but I, I cut it for a, a demonstration. Um, they, they can be quite chunky. Um, that's just down to personal choice, whether you prefer a, a chunky high pressure hose or a skinny high pressure hose. Uh, with Miflex, you don't get the choice. Um, all of their high pressure hoses are skinny. Um, I can't find my one, it must be on something. Um, but hey, but yeah, as far as like brands go, I don't pay that much attention to um, to rubber hose branding. Um, as far as like braided hoses go, uh, yeah, Miflex are good. They did have an issue oh, years and years ago. We're, we're talking like tens plus years ago now, um, where the uh, the the internal um, hosing would like crumble, uh, which is obviously a bad thing. Um, but they fixed that now and touch wood, I haven't seen any issues online about them, uh, recently, but I don't pay that much attention to, uh, to the brand that they're, they're all pretty similar. Um, uh, the same with, uh, with spools, uh, I imagine they probably all came out of the, uh, the same factory and then just they get put in a different bag with a different brand name on. Um, I, I've never noticed that much of a difference between them. Uh, so it's usually whatever my local dive center stocks. Um, there are different types. Um, most of them, let me just have a quick look through <clears throat> so I can show you. Yeah, so most of the ones that I tend to use um, have these kind of flanges on it halfway you can get straight ones 
which are just a, a bar. And then you get some with this little flange, this little um, section that sticks out in the middle. I kind of prefer this version um, just because it, it always sits right in the middle. Um, but I have come across situations where it can be too long and, uh, and not seal properly. So it's kind of one of those things that you kind of have to try um, and, uh, and see if it fits. But um, uh, hey, there, there's no like known combination that this will specifically work with this hose brand and this transmitter or whatever. Um, so that's kind of something that you have to, um, you have to cross that bridge yourself, unfortunately. Um, usually it's fine. Um, but I have yeah, been in a dive center and we've tried like two or three swivel pins. I think it was the, um, uh, the, the particular SPG or something that just really didn't want to, uh, to seal properly. Um, but yeah, when it comes to, um, when it comes to hoses and O-ring seals, you need one seal on either end. On the high pressure hose, you'll have one on the male end uh, with the screw thread that you can, um, that's exposed that you can see. And there should be an O-ring around that because that's going to seal against the port in your first stage. And then on the other end, there isn't actually an O-ring and they don't usually come with an O-ring or a, a swivel pin. Swivel pins quite often come with SPGs. If you're, um, oh, that one's actually tightened on. Um, if you're buying a uh, submersible pressure gauge, you typically get the gauge and then a, a swivel pin. Uh, a lot of the time they're just loose in the box, so do be careful when you're opening it. Um, they, they do fall out quite, uh, quite readily. Um, but yeah, if you're replacing a hose, just double check that you're not throwing that out because sometimes it can get stuck inside the hose itself. And if you're chucking out the hose, you can chuck out that, uh, that swivel pin very easily. Uh, so do make sure when you are swapping them over that you do secure that. Um, and inspect the O-rings. You've got two teeny tiny little O-rings on here. One for the end of the, uh, the actual hose itself to seal that. And then another one to seal against that submersible pressure gauge. And then that just allows it to, uh, to swivel. That's why we call it a swivel pin. Uh, I suppose, does that make them a, a dynamic O-ring because they're, um, they're in motion? Um, but yeah, so you need that. When it comes to your low pressure hoses and really more specifically your, uh, your regulator hoses, um, again, you need an O-ring on the male ends. You also need one on the female ends, but these are fitted. They're very hard to see. And I can see why some people would uh, would get confused because you see that open bore and you imagine that a, a swivel pin would fit in there, which granted it does, but that's not the ceiling surface. The ceiling surface is actually on the second stage and it's actually the, the, the like internal surface of this section here and the O-ring is very hard to see and very hard to replace. Um, it's it's on the outside of this internal tube here um, so if you get the light just right you should just be able to see it um, to be able to get at it you really do need a, a hooked um, uh, uh, o-ring pick and um, and yet yeah, so you don't need a swivel pin for low pressure hoses it's only for high pressure hoses uh, because they don't have that sealing surface and they do need that swivel which with this one, because the O-ring is on the outside of that tube, it seals against the inside of the tube in your second stage, and that's what allows it to swivel. So, um, yeah, that's that's kind of it. It was a good question, and um, and one of those things if you if you never come across it, it's um, it's something that you just don't know. Um, but yeah, when you if you are replacing a high pressure hose and you do disconnect it, that swivel pin typically sticks either in the, um, uh, the, the SPG or it sticks in the hose. Uh, just be sure that you know where it is so that you're not throwing it out. Um, and yeah, when it comes to swivel pins, there are at least two types. Um, the most standards, yeah, as I said, are the ones with a flange and ones without a flange. Uh, these green ones are actually flow rate restrictors because there was an issue with um, 
uh, Sunto transmitters a few years back, where um, where they found that the, the flow rate of the high pressure gas getting into them uh, was actually damaging them, I believe. So there was a massive recall. Uh, and then everyone since um, had these, um, these little flow rate restrictors. And you also got a, a very unique restrictor, which is that one. So that is just a flow rate restrictor. It only has a single O-ring on it. And that was if you were fitting your, um, your transmitter directly onto your first stage. So when it's going directly onto a first stage, it doesn't need, uh, all of these high pressure ports are gonna be fitted. Um, it doesn't need a, um, a swivel pin, uh, but it will need an O-ring around or just behind those screw threads to actually seal onto it. Um, so if you are fitting it onto a first stage directly, then you need that O-ring seal that you would typically find on there, uh, on your hose. But on the, um, on the female end, yeah, high pressure hoses all need a swivel pin, otherwise gas is just gonna leak out. On low pressure hoses for your regulators, it's typically already fitted. Um, but yeah, if you pressurize it and you hear a load of hissing and you can feel where it's coming from, uh, you know which O-ring is missing. So yeah, to summarize, uh, as far as brands of, of hoses, I don't think too much to, uh, to brands. Uh, especially when it comes to um, uh, to rubber hoses, that they're, they're all pretty similar. There, there are some different designs out there um, that are definitely worth considering. Um, there, there's different considerations to uh, to look at, not just the uh, the actual thickness of the hose, but all the different fittings on uh, on both ends. So yeah, it's definitely worth um, like shopping around. But no, there's no like known brands especially like that, that come to my mind that think, oh yeah, definitely go for this brand of of rubber hose. Um, Again, it, it's typically whatever my local dive center stocks. Um, as far as braided hoses, yeah, Miflex are our best known for um, uh, for braided hoses, and you get lots of different colors as well. So they're, they're typically quite popular, and they're quite universal. It's quite unusual to um, uh, to have a Miflex hose not seal against a certain uh, like inflator or something if it's a low pressure inflator. Um, and with low pressure hoses, you don't need swivel pins, uh, but on high pressure hoses, you do um, on every single high pressure hose. Uh, if you're not involving a hose, then it just needs that O-ring seal against the, um, oh, that actually seals into the, uh, the first stage. Um, and yeah, as far as swivel pin designs, um, personally, I like the ones with flanges, but I, I only ever had issues with um, uh, with long pins in one instance that I can think of. Um, I, I just like the um, <clears throat> uh, the flange on it because it ensures that it's nice and central um, in uh, inside that joint. But it might not work on the um, uh, the actual the exact combination. It's I think it's a lot better nowadays. But um, but yeah, years and years ago, you could find some combinations where you had to get a very particular swivel pin for it to actually seal. Um, but yeah, touch wood, these, these have always worked for me. Uh, any other questions? By all means, pop it down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, use this Ask Mark hashtag to get it featured in the up and coming video. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, do all that good social media stuff so the channel can grow. Uh, check out our website, scubadivermag.com. Check out our magazine. Um, check out a magazine subscription over there. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving.